Well, Simon, <laughs> listen, thank you so much for you know, getting behind Peace One Day and, Absolute and, and helping us uh, produce today's activities. And, you know, I just wanted to ask you, you know, why did you want to do that? Uh, well, a number of reasons. One, um, I guess your passion for, for Peace One Day is absolutely infectious. It's such an unbelievable moonshot um, that, you know, that, 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 you know, that w w once in a lifetime, I if this comes off to a, a, f a small fraction, it's got to help everything in humanity. And that, f that flows through. Um, I've met your mum now, so uh, <laughs> she's, she's clearly the driving force behind the whole thing. It, it's, such a, it, it's so important to the way we move going forwards, the way we, we, we employ, we adapt, we adapt with AI. Um, and and you know, it, it, we, I just felt it's super important. And, and, and Peace One Day is such a phenomenal uh, concept um, that it's something that I, I defy people not to want to get involved with. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Brilliant, brilliant. And could you just tell us a little bit about ITG? I mean, you know, you're a sort of tech based, media based. I mean, you're doing a lot of work with a lot of people around the world, you know, working for you. So could you just tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, your organization and the kinds of work that you do. Yep. So we work with major global brands. We are, we are uh, first and foremost, we're a technology business. So we are trying to um, infuse efficiency methods within global marketing. Um, uh, 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 and sort of media channels. We're trying to help make people work in a much more regimented, easier, more efficient way so they can communicate better with large files, the way in which, you know, the way they communicate. Um, we, we're particularly uh, driven by automation. So we, we, we're trying to get people to actually produce their own content and automate their own content so they can produce much more relevant content for the channels that are here today. So there are so many channels popping up. So that's our technology side of the business, always trying to push forwards. Um, we, we're, you know, we're, we're into AI, we're, we're an early adopter, I guess, and as everybody is. Um, and we're trying to use AI in a way that helps people brief, informs them, gives them information, um, and, and, and helps them actually produce the, the difficult briefs that they, they, they can't get that information. Information you can take from yesterday, it's not necessarily pioneering in the way we're using it, but it's bloody helpful. Um, uh, and, and we're also a service business. We produce films and TV and, and TV commercials and have a huge range of global marketing services um, uh, uh, across the world to, to try and promote uh, efficiency within the marketing space. Wow, amazing. It's really interesting. I mean, it's World Creativity and Innovation Day. And I'm just sort of thinking about one of the things that you do, which you just talked about, was helping people you know, to make to generate their own content. Yeah. I mean, I find it amazing and incredibly exciting as a campaigning organisation ourselves, right, to kind of manifest awareness around the fundamentals issues that we face. The more we get to be able to create our own stuff quickly, easily, without there being some kind of big post-production situation involved, yeah. it's just massive, isn't it? And that's exactly yeah. what you're talking about. That's exactly what we're trying to do. So. Um you know, it, it's harder to, sometimes it's it's harder for people to brief something than it is to visually see it and, and produce it themselves. Um, and we're trying to get to a point whereby they can actually produce it themselves because it's easier than thinking about than having the knowledge of how to actually explain what they want. But if you see an image and you say, "I need that in that channel," if that's that those, you know for those number of seconds. You can do it super simply. Um, so we try to change the way people think about the creative production process to make it easier. AI will help us do that because it allows us to brief in multi-languages, it allows them to write that brief, it allows them to, to, to chat. Um, but we don't use AI to replace anything. We're using AI um, symbiotically with the skills that we have. It's an, it's an enabler. It helps us improve. Um, it doesn't replace. And that's important. You know, I'm a CEO of a, of a big business that, that employs a lot of people. My job is not to Yes, I need to, to raise the EBITDA of the business, of course, that to, to grow. But I don't want to reduce the number of people I employ. I want to increase the number of people I employ. So I want AI to be additive to what we do, not to remove what we do, but to grow everything that we actually do to, to create a new industry. And those industries are coming. Um, I interviewed a, a, a prompter last week, um, a veteran prompter, nine months. Uh, of experience, um, <laughs> whose job it is to c creatively come up with brilliant prompts that give you much better answers from uh, various pieces of AI, uh, that, which seems to be an industry that's just being created all of a sudden. You know, and, and the veterans, the veterans in this space, they're not very, they're not very veteran. Um, but we're trying to do it 
in conjunction with existing employees to, to help them work and to, to, for it to enhance what they do, not change or, or you know, I don't want half the workforce, I want double the workforce and 10 times the amount of content. Well, that's fantastic. Awesome. Exciting. Well, when thinking about the future of AI, what's the big issue that should be taken into account by those developing it and using it? Um, I mean, it's new that it, it's it, it, even though it's been around for you know a few months, the, the, the real sort of mass media <laughs> take of it's still it's still so new. It's in learning phase. Um, it, it's been seen as almost magical. Uh, you know, it, it's you, you're typing something and you get answers back and it's a it's a wow moment. That's amazing. That's you know, it's so so whilst people are doing that, the system needs to learn. It's got to adopt. It's got to it's it's, it's in learning phase. It's beta, you know, uh, albeit it's great fun. Um, it's also helping lots of great, you know, it's doing lots of really fantastic things in the background as well, as people try to uh, use it for the right reasons. It has a big misuse um, element to it that's, that's concerning. Um, so we have, to, we have to try and navigate between what's right and what's wrong, whether that be morally or, or actually. Um, it, it is opening up doors for, for, you know, for people to be able to sneak around the back door and, and, and duplicate and, 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 and you know, really you know, push it down the misuse um, area of life, which is a little bit of a concern. So there has to be an element of control somewhere um, brought into it. I think early doors, uh, you know, the, the, the first questions into the, into the early doors were all about bomb making and, 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 and that needed to be changed very quickly. Uh, filters needed to be put in place and things needed to change. Um, so I think it's I think it's important that we you know we we embrace the technology. We can't not uh, embrace the technology. And Skynet isn't coming. You know we're not we're not we're not there yet. Uh, the Terminator is not 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 going to uh, pop back from the future. But we do have to keep a moral view on where it's going before it before it does get to a point whereby there's you know lots of jobs going and you know people misusing it to to just to create EBITDA, which is you know which is a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah. Well, it was amazing for you to talk to Gabriella Ramos, yep. you know, of UNESCO and talk about those very things where, of course, yep. UNESCO, you know, is at the, you know, the front of, you know, that big conversation with governments about you yep. know, making sure we do things sensitively. I thought that was fascinating to hear what she was talking about today. Yep. Um, could you talk to us about the impact AI could have on content generation and the potential risks of, you know, AI playing such a fundamental role in the creation of narrative? Yep. Uh, I mean, it, 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 th three and four, th three was about narrative and coming up with, with you know, with, with, with great conversations and, you know, creating rap songs and, you know, it, it was used in, it, it was fun, it was great, it was, it was ingenious. Four is, is bringing in generative AI with imagery uh, and then you're getting into a different, a different space. You start to create images and, and inspire people to create images, um, which moves into a more CGI space. Um, and you can see that building into that CGI space and being able to create things that are currently created in a, in a, in a much more structured way. Um, so I can see I can see it developing into that space, it, but it's so early. You know, you think uh, when the iPhone one came out, bloody brilliant, best thing you've ever seen. How can you possibly improve on this? We're at 14 Pro now, and actually we're, we're all desperate for the 15 because it's going to do something even better. Um, and I suspect that's the same with, with AI. It's going to go through a learning phase. Um, and as it goes through that learning phase, it will have to be regulated. Um, and, and as it gets regulated, it will start forming new roles, new jobs, and we will have to adapt as we always adapt. You know, humanity has to adapt to, to what's coming up. This is the start of something big. It's not the end of something. It's the very, very start of some big changes that, that are coming that are difficult to predict. Um, you know that that you're not quite sure where they're going to go. Uh, other than they're going to be exciting. Yeah. So it sounds like you you know you're looking at AI in the future and you're kind of embracing the the possibilities and yep. you're excited by that. Do you have fears and concerns about the other side of the way in which it can evolve? And are you? I mean, do you think about that? Are you are you concerned? I'm concerned certainly for um, you know the, maybe the next generation down particularly. 
uh, where this they will be citizens of this, and it will be uh, it, you know, it could make people lazy. It could it could shortcut lots of things. There's always little hacks and life hacks that people can can use. So I'm, I get concerned about that sometimes. Um, I get concerned about it it's stifling creativity uh, because uh, you know it's it, it's easy to it's easy to it, it, to be creative. You need to make mistakes, and 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 if and, and if anybody's not allowing you to make mistakes. Um, you're never really going to learn. So you need to be able to do that. And com good companies allow people to make mistakes. Um, AI is, is almost giving you an opinion that's so uh, potentially so accurate that you're almost not trying new things. And you need to try new things and fail and keep learning to be able to, you know, to, to keep pushing forwards. So, so it worries me a little bit that creativity may well be stifled. Um, and that's something that I think is, is a bad thing. Uh, it, this, it can enhance creativity as well. As long as it enhances, I think it's a, a fabulous tool that will develop. But I wouldn't want to see it um, stop people making mistakes and growing and, and, it, and coming up with some phenomenal ways of doing or, or, or inventions just because it's easier to pop it into a, you know, an AI chat button and, and find a way of you know, getting, getting a straightforward answer to, to, to something that actually could be pushed even further. Very interesting, very interesting. Is there anything that individuals can do or ways we can engage you know, to make sure that AI promotes the protection of our people and the planet? Um, I mean, there's always, there's always way, ways people can do it. Uh, uh, everyone needs to try it. Everyone needs to push it to the limits that they can push it to. Um, and because it gives so many different you know, responses and answers. And even if it's base level, it's good fun. Um, you know, like I say, whether whether it's my daughter coming up and, and creating a, a rap, uh, a rap song or, or a rap lyrics about me or a poem about me or a situation she's been in and it creates it instantly. And it's wow, this is absolutely amazing. It, it's such a tip of the iceberg stuff, but it's a real wow thing. And it's a real, you know, it's a real exciting thing. We need to give it time to grow. It's in learning phase. It's still beated, and so it's still picking up information. We're still working on yesterday's data, um, you know, and, and we need to push that. You know, for it, it's inevitable that it will go forwards, and it's inevitable that it will push forwards um, and, and create new opportunities. I, I, I don't see it as a destruction of jobs. Um, that would be a very pe pessimistic view. We will learn to adapt, and we will learn to create new roles around what happens that's what we do as, as human beings you know we, we we don't stop doing something oh i see that's it there's no more the world's ended it's not it's starting it just means a new set of skills and a new set of jobs um, and they will grow and, and the clever guys will really push that forwards and use it to enhance what we do right. well we've got about two and a half minutes i mean so i want to ask you about you know young people who might be watching you know, who'd like to get involved in AI, would like to get involved in media. I mean, what, what sort of advice would you give to a young person sort of about to embark on their journey? In terms of AI, um, look, look, use it, but, but, but it's not the answer. Um, you still need to have an element of creativity um, and, and be prepared to try things yourself without using AI. Um, and then maybe sampling it against AI, just see, just see the difference. Because actually sometimes AI will be too precise, too correct, It'll be plagiarizing other people's information. That creative thought process of delivering genuine creativity um, is super important to, to anybody. Yeah. So, so you know, I wouldn't use AI as the answer to everything because it isn't. Um, it's an answer that, that, that stimulates, but actually stay creative, stay using your own brains, stay using your own thought process. Don't, don't lose that because if you do, then you, you lose the very thing that we are as humans, don't you? You know, there's a Skynet is coming there uh, and there's no need to, for you and me to interact. Yeah, yeah. What about, you know, for a young person thinking about going into media and, you know, going into business? I mean, as a very successful CEO and business, business owner yourself, what advice would you give to a young entrepreneur? Um, listen, be tenacious, never give in. Uh, whatever, whatever ideas and concepts you have, keep going. Uh, and no matter how many knocks you get, no matter how many times that they think it's not right, if you believe it, and you keep pushing it, and it has an element of common sense, you've got to keep going. You're the perfect example of that. Keep going, no matter what trips you up, keep going, and, and that, which is why Peace One Day is so amazing. Well, listen, I think we've got about 50 seconds, so I would like to seconds. ask you another. <laughs> we've got 50. Okay. Actually, no, no, it's actually 48, 48 now. <laughs> but can I ask you, can yeah. I ask you a question? What about a book? I mean, if you've read, I mean, going into business or doing what you're doing, what about a book? 
Anything that you, you would say, uh, you've got to read this. Yeah, you've got to read this. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to shamelessly plug a friend, um, uh, Rory Sutherland, uh, Alchemy, brilliant. Uh, it teaches you about counterintuitive thinking, how to think differently, n not in an economic way. So I'll shamelessly plug uh, Alchemy by Rory Sutherland. It is a phenomenal read, uh, um, and will make you think about everything in a very very different way. Not AI driven but very economic driven and very, very logical and, 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 and presented beautifully. Well, listen, Simon, thank you for that. But I got to say, listen, you know, today would never have happened if you hadn't got behind us, you know. So thank Absol you to ITG, privilege. to your amazing team and to you for supporting Peace One Day to allow this to happen today. Mate, I'm privilege. incredibly grateful. Absolute thank you. privilege. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, Simon.